it's time for story time. As we are getting our church back to normal, uh, one of the things that we did before this last year was to collect a youth fund. So this is just a warning that next week we will be starting to have the youth collect their fund before story time. Just, just a warning. <laughs> Come on up. Let's have the story time. Vines all over. There were thorns. 
There he was crying, wet and scared. And the paramedics took him, and they took him to the hospital right away, getting checked out. And you know, he was all right, except for scratches and stuff. And so the nurses said, well, what did you do? I mean, it was so cold the last two nights. How did you, how did you survive? And he said, oh, I had a friend that stayed with me those two nights. Well, worry starts start because they don't know what kind of friend is that, you know, we hear about stranger danger. So they, they questioned him further and they said, well, what did this friend look like? And you know what? He described a bear. Now, the police said, there's no way a bear would stay with that little boy. Number one, if you make noise in the woods, the bear shoots like run off. And another guy says, not only that, but here in North Carolina, bears are hibernating this time of year. It's impossible. He's dreamed the whole thing because he probably has a teddy bear at home on his bed, and he just thinks there was a bear with him. But you know, Casey had an aunt. She believed. She believed that Casey was there and kept warm through the night by a bear because she had faith. Faith in God. And God sent the bear to keep him warm on that freezing night. Because that's what God promises us. What does God promise us? He'll be with us all the time. All the time, even until the end. So, I think that God sent the bear. What do you think? Okay. Anybody want to pray today? Okay. Get a willing person. Thank you.